We made 1,050 with a conventional headed engine. We have a docile piece that'll go into a street machine, and if the guy wants to make it a race car and go drag race with it, then it'll do that also. That is a serious power. Don't think we're gonna stop here, because we're not. We've just formed a partnership with Edelbrock on a 555 cubic inch crate engine. It's 10 to 1, runs on pump gas. I have heard of Pat's name and it always had uh, good things and good vibrations with it. And we went and we talked. I liked what I heard and we can really come up with a winner. We've already shown you the buildup of the dart block, scat crank and rods, and SRP pistons in the short block. Now it's time to finish the rest of the engine. We're back at Musi Performance in snowy Carteret, New Jersey for step two of Project Grandma's engine build. The short block is completed and today we'll be finishing off the engine with the Edelbrock cylinder heads, the rocker arms, the valve covers, the intake manifold, and the coolest part about this engine is that it's fuel injected and it was set up to run off of 91 octane pump gas. And to make sure that Grandma gets where she needs to go in a hurry, we'll be equipping this engine with the Edelbrock nitrous kit. 850 horsepower, here we come. The Edelbrock Musi 555 crate engine was created from a blank sheet of paper using only brand new premium components. Assembled by Musi Performance in New Jersey, our 555 is being built to produce over 850 horsepower on nitrous and is designed to use not only the Edelbrock Pro Flow fuel injection system, but Edelbrock cylinder heads, intake manifold, and throttle body as well. Pat Musi from Pat Musi Performance. This is our Edelbrock 24 degree CNC ported version. The cant is unique. It's five degrees versus four and a half degrees. What that does is it opens the intake valve closer to the center in a cylinder for better flow, better performance. Then it has a little hidden increase for a nitrous engine. It moves that valve pocket closer to the center of the piston away from the ring land, which is a problem on a nitrous engine. So it's got a kind of little built in performance value for a nitrous guy. After installing the Edelbrock 24 degree cylinder heads, we begin installing the head bolts on the big block Chevrolet and torque them down. Our push rods and valve train components were next, including the Crane Gold Stunt Mount Roller Rocker Arms. Lashing the rockers was an easy step as Edelbrock's 555 comes equipped with a hydraulic roller. It was all covered up with a set of Edelbrock black crickle finish valve covers. To complete our 555, we only had to add the ProFlow EFI system. We installed the Edelbrock throttle body, fuel injectors, and quick disconnect wiring harness. Of course, we couldn't forget about the Edelbrock nitrous system, which we hope will get us close to the 900 horsepower mark. The Edelbrock RPM 2 plate system is capable of adding more than 300 horsepower to our big block. The big question that remained was, just how much power will it all make? Getting with Vic Elderbrock's really been an experience. You know, I raced my whole life and concentrated on the racing end of it. And uh, But I was always a street enthusiast, you know, doing my own cars. And uh, about a year ago, I told Vic, I says, you're right, we need to do more street performance stuff uh, as well as the racing. I said, you could make anything as good as anybody. I says, you got capability of foundries and uh, with a little bit of uh, research and development here that we can do, we can make some really killer race stuff. But I also want to do some of the street and some of the performance end. So we came up with the idea to do a 555 crate engine. So now the consumer buys a complete package. He buys a motor that not only performs, it starts, it drives, it drives like his new ZL6. It's smooth as glass. One thing that, uh, you know, we got in this crate engine thing uh, seven, eight years ago, and, it's, and it's, it's come a long way with us where we were taking uh, blocks, short blocks made by GM and putting their stuff on it. And I think when you came up with this idea, it, it was the next step for us to go ahead. Uh, we needed you because we are not in the business of putting engines together. You know the combinations and, and to do it right. And so when we started this thing, I thought it was a beautiful relationship. We can make the parts, 
You can put them together for us, we'll bring them out, and we make sure they work. It works out of the crate, just like our other engines does, and we go out there and we hit a whole new world. We're here now, the next level up, but you know, with fuel injection and everything, the guy can have it in his, in his, in his Chevelle, and his wife can drive it to the grocery store, Jack. It's just a, that docile of a piece. It's great to have both Vic Adelbrock and Pat Musi here helping with this project. The guys at Musi Performance have our engine completed, and Grandma might just roll over and die when she sees this thing. Tomorrow we'll be putting it on the dyno to see what kind of horsepower numbers it puts out, and then we'll be slapping that nitrous kit on it with hopes of over 850 horsepower. So be sure to stay tuned on Street Legal TV for your Project Grandma engine build.